I recently have had some questions asking me how to to assign values and rates to uh, a timesheet. And so here we have my standard issue timesheet that I've created a number of times on my videos um, with the weekends grayed out and the, the days going across on the top. Now I have here in this particular instance um, these people are paid by the day and this includes their um, their equipment as well and so um, now they we don't care about how many hours are there we care care whether they work that day and so when we put um, a Y for example in here I have it as in this thing I have uh, in this cell I have count A which is just counting whether there's um, something in here so I could say um, I could put an X in there as well and they would still increase the count A so, so there's something in these cells and so if we scroll back over here we have the employee and I have a drop down list employee from 1 to 20 and then we have the client and I have the client from 1 to 10 or 8. Okay, and so now let me show you how I've done this. Um, I have, first of all, I have set up employees and I have named this this range employee. And then I have set up customers and I have named the range customers. Now on the timesheet, now because we've seen this all before, I have grouped these and so it's just a matter of uh, so grouping these I select all the columns I go to the data sheet and I go to group and then you will have so I can put this away now uh, then we're left with the total of days that they've worked and then what I've done for the salary is what I've done is I've vlookup'd on these uh, employee table that I have here so I'm lo looking up uh, the employee number which is A5 I'm going to my table which is uh, the table is the employees and then I'm looking in the second column which is the which is the salary and then you put in false so you get an exact match now to figure out the total salary what we're going to just do is we're going to go uh, equals the salary times the number of days this person has worked and that's the total salary and the same thing with the rate this is what the client we have selected the client from uh, from the drop down here and we have also done a VLOOKUP for the for the client VLOOKUP for B5 being the client one from the customers table the second column and that's the rate that they charge and false is because it's an exact match so once again you calculate the amount that you are to bill this client by selecting the, the client rate and then multiplying by the number of days so it's this times the number of days and this is how much is going to be billed the client. Okay, so all of these are you are able to drop these down. So um, from this this list was created using data validation. Um, data validation is on the data tab. And data validation looks like this. I have um, I've selected list, and then I've gone and I have selected. Um, on my employees tab I have selected the A column to say I want all of these pulled up and I have done exactly the same thing with my customers as well okay so now once we have these in here actually we can um, pull it down one and then we're going to delete that so we don't have uh, you can pull it down at the bottom of your list the same thing with this one is I'm going to pull it down one and delete the client name so I don't have all the clients in there and delete this 
or drag this down, I'm sorry. And so now, anywhere along this list, I can select a uh, an employee, and I can select a client. And then with same similar thing is I'm dropping down the salary, and I'm drop dropping down um, the rates and the amount. So what we can do here, because these are giving us NAs, is what we can do is we can modify this um, this formula slightly. Is we can go if error, <clears throat> if error, and then you um, put a comma after that, and then you put double uh, quotation marks, and then you so you're going to get a blank if there's nothing there, and you can drag this down and you'll get rid of the get rid of the NAs and the same thing with this one same thing if error and then you put a comma and then you put double quotation marks and then you press enter and then you can drag that down and I can do the rest the same thing for all the rest of the columns to improve the appearance of this. So that is how you can tie your tie your timesheets to values. And if you ever needed to look at your um, to look at who'd work when, you just click on your plus sign and you would have all your uh, timesheet available for you to see. So that's how you t how you tie values to timesheets. Please subscribe.